Okay, guys. <sighs> it's your girl Ijama Cola. I actually look really rough because I fell asleep in my contacts. I really should know better. But we're going to try to see what we can do with this face. And I hope that you guys continue watching this video. If it's your first time here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you can always know when I post in my next videos. All right, let's go. So first things first, I'm actually going to take off my contacts because I need to let my eyes rest. So I don't want to put my contacts back on, so I'm actually now going to do my makeup for when I'm wearing eyeglasses. Um, a couple people have asked me this on Instagram, so perfect timing. I'm just going to start off by using some primer. I like the Makeup Forever Base Mattifying Primer. I'm going to mix three different foundations because that's just the kind of mood I'm in. So we have NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Caracas. We have Sunday Riley's The Influencer in shade 260. I'm extra pale right now. We're gonna add on Bobbi Brown's Skin Longwear in the color Golden. Don't worry, I will blend, you know, that out soon. So next I'm gonna conceal underneath my eyes as well as on my cheek. And to do that, I use two different colors of Julep's Cushion Complexion. I wonder if there is a, I can't see what I'm doing, makeup tag because this would be a really good entry for that. And going to set all of that with some of Becca's under eye brightening setting powder. I look ghastly or not? <laughs> To bring some warmth to my face, I'm going to contour. I really love Becca's Apre Ski palette, so that's what I'm gonna use. Gonna use this color right here. You see I'm squinting? No, I'm actually not gonna use this color. I'm gonna use this color. That one is the contour. I'm trying not to mess up the edges that I laid as best as I possibly could. <laughs> now I'm gonna use the same shade uh, of that contour to, I don't know, what do you call it? To do this to my crease. I'm gonna play around with a new palette, Urban Decay's Naked Petite Heat. Pretty, pretty cute. Let's see if I can find a brush. Squinting is a terrible thing. So since I am wearing eyeglasses, you know, you're not really gonna see my eye makeup, but that doesn't mean that I can't do a little bit. Just enough to look like I tried. That's always the goal. I just wanna look like you put some effort into waking up this morning. And you did. You did get up this morning. And you did beat your face. So it might as well look like it a little bit. So I used um, Hot Spell on my lid and I'm using Strike on the outer corner. Um, Cause I'm feeling, nah, I won't be extra. It's gonna highlight my brow bone, but yeah, let's highlight the brow bone. With Inhale, only cause I recently cleaned up my eyebrows, so. Feeling them. When I do wear glasses, if I'm really trying to look cute, I will use a liquid eyeliner because I feel like that helps your eyes pop um, and brings, draws more attention to your eyes. If you're gonna wear glasses, you might as well draw attention to your eyes instead of trying to hide them. So I'm going to be using this liquid liner by Wet n Wild. And I'm going to need every single ounce of my attention to do it correctly. Mind you, I still can't see, so this should be fun. I mean, not terrible, but also not good. Why I decided to attempt to do a cat eye when I can't see is beyond me. It's kind of like why I attempted to do a PhD. I don't know. This side's good. I did well over here. This side's not good. Just throw the whole eye away. Throw the whole eye away. For my highlights, I've been digging the... 
NARS Highlight in St. Barth's. Like, look at this gold. It's just absolutely beautiful. My lips, I'm just going to keep it really nice and simple. I'm going to be using Burt's Bees. The color is Deuced Rose. Ooh, that's a lot more pink than I realized. No, 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 no. Alright, to tone this pink down, I'm now going to use Becca's lipstick in Toasted Hazelnut. Much better. Now I have a nice mauve. Other important thing for when you're wearing eyeglasses is to use setting spray. So I'm going to set my face. Okay, it is now time to see my handiwork, my masterpiece. Oh! Oh, I just realized I didn't do my eyebrows, and that's because there's no way I'm doing my eyebrows without being able to see. Done my eyebrows, and I kind of set the rest of my face. This is my final look. So you guys are now going to help me choose which glasses that I should wear with this look. First up, we have the tortoise. Let's do what the YouTubers do. Little smiles. <laughs> Next option is the classic black. And last but not least, we have my golden white frames. So let me know down below which pair of glasses you think worked best with this makeup look. Was it the tortoise pair, the black pair, or this gold and white pair? I usually wear glasses based on my outfit, but since I'm wearing all black today, anything would, would kind of work. I hope that this video inspired you to figure out how to wear makeup if you do wear glasses. Um, if you don't wear glasses, then you watch this video. Shout outs to you. You deserve a high five. So let me know down below in the comments so I can give you a personal high five. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm gonna head out for the day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.